Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. This is Alake Gay YouTube channel. I am Sienna. The first time of watching my video, please kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for sticking around. I love you. Thank you for subscribing. So today's tutorial is on how to make this beautiful kimono dress. It is so easy to make. So let's go to the cutting table. It's freehand method. I already add some lines on the dress, on the fabric rather. So this line is the shoulder line. And this line is the waist line. So the waist line is from the shoulder to the waist. And the shoulder to the waist I'm using is 16 inches. So I have 16 inches here. And the shoulder to the hip. The shoulder to the hip I'm working with is 24. 24. So, so the shoulder to the hip is 24. Then I have the shoulder to the hemline as 37.5. The length of the dress is 36. But I added 1.5 inch for folding allowance, for the Emmy allowance. There's all that was made it of uh, 37.5 inches so the next measurement i will be inputting now is the waist circumference the waist is 28 because i folded the fabric into four i forgot to mention that earlier so sorry it's 24 i folded it i folded my fabric into so i'm using 1.5 1.5 uh, yards that's one and a half yards of fabric you, you will need fabric depending depending on your body side size rather so just get the non fabric for you so i just fold the 1.5 yards into four after that it like this like this then and i put that it into two into two again that makes it four so it was folded into four like that so the first measurement i'll be inputting now is the circumference of the waist and the waist circumference is 28 so 28 divided by 4 because the fabric is folded into 4 i'm just going to it's 7 so i'll add one inch for for ease allowance because the dress is not fitted it's a free dress so i'll be adding one inch for ease allowance and that will make it eight inches and then one inch for so seven inches for the waist let me just face mark the seven inches then i'll add the extra one inch for ease allowance to make the dress free because this is a free dress then i'll add one inch for sewing allowance that has to join the fabric together the sewing allowance so i've added so this is the seven inches the waist circumference the one inch for the ease and one inch for the sewing allowance then i'll move to the hip this this is the hip line so hip circumference divided by four the hip is 36 so 36 divided by four equals to nine just like i did on the waistline i'm going to be adding one inch for ease then one inch for sewing allowance so you are going to use your own measurements or if you are making it for your client or anyone you are making it so use the purses yeah. so what i have here is 11 because the hip circumference divided by 4 is 9 plus 1 inch for easy allowance 10 1 inch for sewing allowance 11 so whatever i have here is what i'm going to mark on the hem line here the hem line will be 11 like what i have on the hip line i'm not and so it's just going to be straight down like that so i'm going to be marking the 11 inches here on this line so then i'll move to the what to the shoulder so the shoulder measurement i'm working with is 14 because the shoulder measurement is 14 then i'll divide it into two it's not into four because your shoulder is not taking round your shoulder is taken from one shoulder to the other so it's 14 that i'm working with here so 14 divided by 2 equals to 7 
seven inches seven inches here yeah. so then i'll be taking the neckline the neckline i'll be working with is three by three this is just for average body size if you want you can do more than this how deep or how high you want your neck to but because i'm not using zip or anything for this is a free dress so i'm going to be doing three by three so i'll mark the three yeah so i'm just going to cough the neckline like this so i've marked the seven inches here so i'll be using the rest of a fabric for the sleeve because it's a cut together sleeve and i didn't want to and the fabric is not too much like that what i have left is six six point two five there so i'm just going to use this for the sleeve so whatever you want how long you want your sleeve is will be what you will measure if you have more than enough fabric you can go as far as 10 how much you want your fab uh, your sleeve to fall so you can just measure it on your body and see how long you want your sleeve to be so i'm just going to go with this because that's what i have left and i'm okay with that so the next thing i'll do is to divide what i have left here on this from the the neckline three by three that i measured here to the shoulder measurements that i have here and it's four so four divided by two equals two two so on these two inches here i'm going to connect it back to this i want to i'm going to connect it from this to this because i want to have this boat like neck so i'm just going to do that i'll just do it like that so what i'm using for the front neckline is what i'll use for the back so it's the same thing so this is the new neckline for me so the next thing i'll do is to come down by 1.5 inch on this side of the fabric on the edge of the fabric at the sleeve length here so i'll pre come down by 1.5 inch 1.5 inch this is to slope the shoulder i'm doing the same thing for the front and the back so I'm going to connect this from here to this place, to the edge of the neck here. This new neck line that I just did, I'll connect it like that. So I've slowed down the neck. So the next measurement I'll be inputting is the sleeve, the bicep. So your bicep is around the sleeve. Um, the bicep I'm working with is 10. So I'll divide that into 2. 10 divided by 2 equals to 5. So I'll mark the five here. Five plus one each for each equals to ten. And uh, two uh, plus one, sorry, plus one inch for each. Then one inch for sewing allowance. One inch for sewing allowance here. So on this line here, we serve as my chest line. So I'm going to just square down the line like that. You know we've not input the bust measurement so this is where we'll be inputting the bust measurement so yeah i'm going to input the bust measurement here the bust is 34 so 34 divided by 4 equals to 8.5 then plus one inch is allowance the one inch for the uh, one inch for the sewing allowance too i'm going to input it here so the next thing i'll do now is to connect the lines together so i'll connect this line to gear from the if i'm using so i'll be connecting the lines together from year to year i'll use my curve ruler to do that so now i forgot to this one i'm just going to come in by one inch from the shoulder to this uh, chest line so i'll mark the one inch then i'll connect it together so i've connected it together so the next thing i'll do is from this line here i'm going to come in out by one inch one inch just place your tape measure on the line here like kind of curve 
you do this here then from the chest line you come down by two inches come down by two inches so what you do is to cuff do a curve from here down to here just create the curve and doing the curve you can use your curve ruler if you can't get your own curve like that so just to give this coffee effect around there so that is all for this dress so on the left hand, I'll be adding half inch to join facing or bias. I can use basing, uh, facing or bias, whichever one I want to. I'll decide, I've decided to use. So I just add half inch. You can use your tape to get the half half inch around the neckline. Except you want your neckline to go deeper again. That's why you don't need to add the half inch because you need half inch to join the neck and so i've added the half inch and for the shoulder too because you need to join the shoulder the front and the back shoulder together so you may need the you need the half inch to join them together like that so the next thing i will do now is to cut this dress the next thing I'll do now is to cut out the fabric. So I'll be cutting the fabric now. So I'll be cutting facing for this. So I'm just going to place one of the fabric on it's in two places right here. I'm just going to place my fabric on it and trace out the neckline. I'll just place this right side on the right side. So I'm going to run it straight half inch round. Before that, I'm going to search the edge here. So I'm going to run a stitch round here for the front and for the back too. So I've already joined this to this. I've ironed it. So to join it together the shoulder, I'm just going to go like this and so straight down. On the other side, I'm going to go in like this. You see, this is the front, this is the back, this is the front. So you place it on it and you just want to turn it like this. So you sew it straight down, you join the shoulder like that. I've already joined it together. This is the back, this is how it looks at the back. So I've joined it together. So the next thing I'll do, I want to add a band to the sleeve. So from the edge of the sleeve here, I'm going to measure from the edge of the sleeve here to the other edge here so I have 15 so my band length will be 15 I'm just going to add it just like two inches to the sleeve I'll do the same thing for the other side so I've joined the band to the sleeve here like that so to finish up the neckline this inside of the neckline you can just use your emmy glue to glue it down or you leave it like this it won't come out it will just stay like that so i'm just going to use the allowance that i added to finish up the sides of the bar i'm just going to go in like this and sew 
straight in and also fold in the edge of the fabric i'm going to turn it in like so uh, to finish off the neckline i'm just going to put the emmy gown here just like this front like this and use the pressing iron to what to press it down like that and the other side too i'm just going to input it and use pressing iron to bring it you see I ironed the yesterday into the, the neck and see how beautiful it looks. I've given it a good press. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please, if you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching my video. So see you in my next tutorial. Bye. Love you. Ah.